Meghan Markle delivered her first official speech of the royal tour in Fiji on Wednesday morning with an emotional address about education, as she visited the University of the South Pacific with Prince Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are on their 16-day landmark tour of Oceania, which comes only a week after the royal duo announced Meghan's pregnancy. The pregnant Duchess scaled back her schedule in the past two days to rest but she returned in full force today and attended the University of the South Pacific alongside Prince Harry. Both royals made speeches to university students, and it was a landmark moment for Meghan as it was the first time she had delivered a speech on the royal tour. It was also only her second official speech since entering the royal family, following her first speech at the launch of her cookbook in London. The Duchess started her remarks with a traditional greeting of Beulah Inuka and then addressed the students with a moving address about education. She announced two new grants for the Fiji National University and the University of the South Pacific. She said, As a university graduate, I know the personal feeling of pride and excitement that comes with attending university, from the moment you receive the acceptance letter to exams you spend countless late nights studying for. I am also fully aware of the challenges of being able to afford this level of schooling for many people around the world, myself included. It was with scholarships, financial aid programs and earnings from a job on campus that went directly towards my tuition that I was able to attend university and without question it was worth every effort. Everyone should be afforded the opportunity to receive the education that they want, but more importantly the education that they have the right to receive and for women and girls in developing countries, this is vital. Megan added, So I am very pleased to announce today that two new grants will be awarded to Fiji National University and the University of the South Pacific, allowing each of them to run workshops, which empower their female staff. This means that female faculty members are able to encourage others to follow in their footsteps and enter higher education and that more women become part of the decision-making process in academic institutions. The Duke of Sussex also delivered a speech to students, during which he launched four new Queen Elizabeth scholarships. Before taking the stage, the royal duo enjoyed a colorful performance on climate change by singers and dancers at the university after being presented with traditional Fijian lace adorned with flowers. Meghan was wearing a pink dress by designer brand figure, while Harry sported a blue shirt with a pattern of white leaves. Meghan Markle was spotted boating around Cindy Harbour with Prince Harry yesterday and for the first time on a royal outing, the Duchess donned a pair of white sneakers. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are on their first major joint tour of Australia and on day six they took to the water to watch the Invictus Games sailing competition. Meghan used the occasion to rock a pair of Veja V10 sneakers and the chosen brand is no coincidence. Veja is an environmentally conscious French shoe brand committed to producing sneakers with completely sustainable materials, including a range of vegetable tanned leathers, organic and fair trade cotton, recycled plastic wild rubber, jute and hemp. Their shoes are also ethically produced in their Brazilian factory. The sneakers were in keeping with the former TV star's environmentally conscious viewpoint, and it is no secret the Duchess is a keen fan of ethically sourced, vegan-friendly products. Along with her shoes, the Duchess sported a black and yellow waterproof Invictus Games jacket. Keeping her protected from the wind, she wore a black polo neck jumper underneath her jacket. Matching the jacket, she wore a pair of skinny black jeans, stopping above her ankles and showing off her slender limbs. Her glossy brunette hair was pulled back in a chiclo bun, with wispy strands of hair hanging down. The newlyweds, who are expecting their first child in the spring, attended a series of engagements yesterday morning related to the Invictus Games. The competition was founded by the Duke of Sussex, and will feature more than 500 competitors from 18 countries. However, it is understood Meghan will not take part in any engagements on Fraser Island today as her pregnancy is taking its toll, according to Prince Harry. A source said, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchesses slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and half of the tour. 
Kensington Palace said Meghan was not unwell, but Palace aides felt it was best to cut back the Duchess's engagements following her pregnancy announcement. A royal aide said, she's feeling fine, but resting. It has been reported the Duchess will rest and relax at the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort while her husband is expected to attend several royal engagements on the seventh day of their Oceania tour. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are heading to the picturesque Fraser Island this afternoon on the seventh day of their landmark 16-day tour of Oceania, and they are expected to stay in the award-winning Kingfisher Bay Resort, which will be perfect for the pregnant Duchess who has been left worn out following a week of engagements. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a variety of engagements to attend and will be met upon their arrival by the traditional owners of Kukri, the Butchola people and the Premier of Queensland. Their Royal Highnesses will also take part in a traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony and unveil a plaque for the dedication of the forests of Kukuri to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. Fraser Island's rainforest is home to the Satine trees which, known for their hardiness in water, were used to build the London docks in the 1930s. It has been reported the Duchess will not take part in all of her official duties during the day but will instead will rest in the fancy resort which boasts quiet beaches, secluded villas and a fancy health spa. Kensington Palace said in a statement, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It is believed Meghan has not been suffering from morning sickness, but she has been left worn out following a series of back-to-back -back official events around Australia this past week. Prince Harry and Meghan arrived at Hervey Bay around an hour ago in an Aussie RAF jet. The couple left the airport in separate cars as the Duchess is expected to spend the day resting in a resort on Fraser Island. Meghan and Harry have just arrived at Harvey Bay. The Duchess of Sussex stopped to say hello to well-wishers and she is now expected to board the Tasman Adventure, a local whale-watching operating boat that will bring her to the island. The Duke is taking a different boat as he needs to take a quicker route. Hundreds of royal fans have arrived early at the Riverhead's Wharf Barge stop, hoping to catch a glimpse of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Suzanne Denton, from Riverhead's has been at the stop since 6.30 am. Ms Denton said she hopes to get a picture with Prince Harry. She added, I've followed Harry all of his life. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are currently flying to Fraser Island. A video shows the couple boarding the plane, Meghan is wearing a loose purple dress while Harry a navy blue shirt and a pair of camel chino. Prince Harry is expected to receive the traditional welcome to country smoking ceremony from the Butchola people before a plaque is unveiled to dedicate the popular holiday spot's pristine rainforests to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy Project. He will also visit Lake Mackenzie before meeting rangers from the National Park to learn about the picturesque island's unique animal and plant life. Fraser Island's hardwood trees were used to build the London docks in the 1930s due to their famed hardiness in water. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palazczuk will also hand the newly pregnant couple a handmade teddy bear from Tanbo. Pregnant Meghan Markle was absent from the morning engagement on day six of the Duke and Duchess's royal tour of Oceania following a hectic five days. The Duchess of Sussex was due to join Prince Harry to support the Invictus Games cyclists but decided to cut back on her duties after a jam-packed start to the tour. A royal aide said, she's feeling fine, but resting. The royal couple are six days into their tour of Oceania which will see them visit Australia, New Zealand. Fiji, and Tonga. The aide added, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. The Duke will attend the cycling as scheduled this morning, and the Duchess will join him for this afternoon's engagements. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. The pregnant Duchess, who announced she will be having a baby last week, 
had a late night on Saturday after the Invictus Games opening ceremony started later than expected due to weather. Meghan is now expected to miss a series of events over the remainder of the tour? A source said they just want to pace her as both she and Prince Harry have a lot of events left. Prince Harry told competitors that Meghan is resting back at home during his morning event. Being pregnant takes its toll he added. However, the Duke and Duchess will attend a reception held by the Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison later today. Meghan is now expected to skip some of the events during the couple's planned visit to Fraser Island on Monday. The couple were expected to visit the island's rainforests, attend a welcome to country smoking ceremony with the traditional owners of Kukuri, the Butchola people and the Premier of Queensland, visit one of the island's lakes. The pair will then travel to Kingfisher Bay by boat. Kensington Palace is yet to announce whether any engagements after day six and seven of the tour will be changed. Meghan is still expected to travel with Harry to Fiji and Tonga but it is possible there may be some adjustments to her program there as well.